All right, guys, so welcome back to the second part of the test drive with a brand new CRV here in Portugal, around Porto, around 50 kilometers from Porto. I almost, <laughs> I was almost falling down. Check this out, beautiful country. And this water, by the way, it's linked to the Atlantic Ocean. And this is the new Honda CRV beautiful car I love I really enjoyed the trip until here we drive like 100 kilometers and we still have to drive around 50 kilometers I will take you with me but it's amazing if you didn't see the first part with it we'll try to give you more information as we go 18 inch rims is the full hybrid version and as I drive I give you more information but I recommend you to check out the first part because there I give you a lot of technical data about the car here I will give you also some technical data that I didn't give you in the first test drive part press the start engine button or system button actually because this car drive most of the time in electric mode so now i will set the electric seat in the position i want to also reset the trip b so we will see the consumption and i want to drive in sport mode we will have some fun with the car if it's possible on those streets and we will see also the consumption the navigation it's on so we have like 21 kilometers shift by wire transmission electronic handbrake auto hold you have to activate it from here then you have different driving modes that you can change everything it's easy to reach out even the climatic system i will leave it on on level three ventilated seats by the way in the summer like when it's hot weather you can activate them by the way a few information that i didn't give you in the first part is like the turning circle 11.4 meters and another information that i didn't give you 0 to 100 in 9.5 seconds and 187 km per hour is the top speed and the fuel tank capacity 57 liters also as i go i will give you more information about the car and let's drive it put it in drive we have also the b mode i explained you in the first part so check out the first part of the video for more information now let's go out from here the head-up display even if it's super sunny today the head-up display it's directly on the windscreen and it's it's really clear and really bright also i drive the car today and i drive it three weeks ago and i have to say it's amazing and you can really have some fun with it at least on those kind of twisty roads here in portugal it's so fun to drive it it's not only a family super comfortable car and really economical car but it's also fun to drive and when you are in sport mode i have to tell you from the speakers you hear this interesting sound on the speakers gorgeous sound really i love i really enjoy to hear this sound make you feel much more special look the direction is good the brakes are phenomenal i was impressed and i didn't say in the first test because i didn't have the chance to drive a little bit more dynamic but i have to tell you the brakes are super good and the way they they make this transition between regenerative brake and brakes it's so smooth you almost don't feel like you're having a regenerative brake anyway you have b mode we will go in b mode regenerative brake on maximum so when you release the acceleration will be something like more regenerative it's not like one pedal drive because one pedal drive it's more aggressive the regenerative brake here is not super aggressive but it's still still uh, better than most of the other full hybrids so this is good you have something much more uh, aggressive and i like that so for example i release now the acceleration the car will regenerate back the battery into the uh, energy back into the battery uh, it comes with a one petrol engine two liters four cylinders in line atkinson gorgeous system gorgeous engine uh, they work on it a lot and combined with two electric motors that they are no more in line now they are parallel and for that reason they improve the traction and that's why the car is able to pull up to 1000 kilograms and the plug-in hybrid up to 1500 kilograms anyway details uh, in the review i will have a separate video with all those technical data i try to bring it everything but in this video 
it's all about the driving and dynamics and the feeling and I have to say the the comfort on the seats it's gorgeous uh, I like the fact that even here on the armrest it's much more softer than in other cars on the side here and it's really really pleasant to be here in the seats the uh, the armrest it's perfectly positioned the buttons are perfectly positioned right here you can reach them and change every single function very easy even a climatic system you can turn it on and off very simple just like that it's so easy while you're driving to use all those stuff it comes with wireless uh, apple carplay and android out of course you can see right now it's the phone connected for the route i said that in my first test drive trip so check out that first part I will try to make like uh, like free parts I will try my best so to make like free test drive with it to give, bring you more details uh, there we drive a little bit more echo now we drive a little bit more sporty but in first part we drive echo and sporty it was kind of a mix now it's only sporty and then the last one I try to drive only economical to see the consumption to try to to beat the estimated consumption it's like 6.6 .6 liter the VLTP estimated consumption that they claim now we have to drive 50 here also I show you in the first test drive the autopilot and I set it up on the highway now we can also try it here for example but I have to be in the D mode in order to set the autopilot you have to be in uh, D mode and I noticed that it works also here on those kind of roads not only on the highway but it has to be quite clear the the lanes have to be clear but look it's doing pretty fine I noticed that they improved this um, autopilot system really good I mean it comes really close if not in some circumstances it's kind of the same as Tesla look look it still drive itself right here and it's a complicated curve and you see you have to pay attention always have your hands on the steering wheel because um, is those uh, those autopilot systems are not ready you know there are just driver assistance system so they assist the driver and they help you out you know in certain circumstances to you know to improve the um, the comfort and the safety the head-up display it's gorgeous you can see it right there on the uh, windshield I love the head-up display it looks so good and it gives you all the information right there in front you can see everything you need all the adaptive cruise control safety features the speed the traffic signs the car can read also the traffic signs it can stay between the lanes accelerate brake it's it's really really uh, great it comes with a lot of safety features a lot of uh, comfort features and safety features you see I never trust on those kind of curves so I will take the control now so let's drive it Wow when you accelerate you really feel the power even though 0 to 100 it's 9.5 second but the car it's quite agile 204 horsepower by the way it comes with a battery under the rear seat 1.06 kilowatt hour battery it's more than enough for a full hybrid system and another thing ECVT transmission it's crazy smooth I don't I I mean it's it's work perfect with this hybrid system and also the great part is that you barely hear the sound of the engine I mean when it's rev on really hard when you push it harder then you hear it but the sound insulation from the engine to the cabin it's gorgeous and also I noticed that the sound insulation from exterior it's it's much much better than before and it's one of the best sound insul insulated um, Honda car from my point of view after I kind of tested all oh. it's really pleasant to drive it's a it's a great all-arounder from my point of view it feels agile and light it doesn't feel heavy at all even though it's quite a big car with a lot of space also they improve the space in the back you have much more legs room uh, headroom much more uh, room in the boot in the trunk ah too bad we have this why we have this bus in the front because I really want to drive a little bit more aggressive in these areas I should pass him by 
a little bit earlier then we should have some fun we have 9.4 liter consumption until now because we go uphill right now you can see we go up 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 uphill so that's normal also we drive in sport mode i think those are the worst conditions now we can pass him by it's a small place here but we can do it wow 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 it stays really good on the road man i love it and they they said that yesterday that they improved those uh steering feeling and steering um under steering and right now it doesn't understeer like before like the previous version and now I, I already felt that and i said also in the first in the first video i said that oh it's good it's really good the steering it's much much better i like it a lot of bicyclists bicyclet around portugal here uh, you have to pay attention but beautiful country nice roads um, it feels dynamic the car in sport mode I have to say that you can you can definitely have some fun with it if you are in rush or if you want to go on the mountains twisty roads it's super fun and also if you go in comfort mode the car will be crazy smooth comfortable and economical and we will see that in part three test drive with it where i try my best to get the best economy ever <laughs> that we, we try to beat the VLTP but nice I like also the fact that they improved the visibility now the A pillar is changed it's a little bit backward a little bit uh, outside the mirrors mirrors leg it's mounted on the door and in this area you have incredible incredible view so they did a great job with the view the dashboard the windshield the way it's designed it's top-notch the way it should be so again super good job climatic system and the vents are also easy to adjust even when you're driving and send the air in which position you want and also you have this honeycomb uh, design that looks really modern they taking also the use on the latest models from Civic to ZRV that I already test and the videos with it are online if you want to see it now we have to go 50 here so try to ah by the way the suspension we have McPherson independent suspension on the front and on the rear we have multi-link independent also great suspension they change a little bit the setup and the stiffness a little bit the chassis of the car and the body of the car the, and they make the car a little bit more uh, rigid and um, take out the vibration they add some adhesive on the body on the chassis of the car so they can improve the sound insulation the vibrations and the stability of the chassis bumps is doing fine it's doing quite quite fine I can say it's super mega comfortable but it's doing fine over the bumps it can be even better I mean in terms of suspension comfort it can be better but I guess they find the the middle uh, part middle I don't know compromise for the comfort and sportiness dynamics and comfort you can't have all if you make it super stiffer if you make it super stiffer then will be super sporty good handling stuff like that but if you make it super comfortable then you lose on those kind of twisty road that we see before and i told you you can have some fun with the car so it doesn't feel like a boat usually you make it super comfortable you feel like a, a boat you know left right um, like Citroen for example have incredible comfort on the cars but I can say they are sportier because if you go on this kind of twisty road then will be kind of complicated to 
kind of complicate to um, to maintain a high speed but on this one I think they set it up just just the way it should be and yeah I think it's a super super nice car seats in terms of the seats very good comfort I have nothing to say about the seats they come ventilated heated seats we have all the newest features uh, that Honda have on the bring on the car so it's kind of a top of the range so you can expect all the comfort and technology features on the car I will explain you in the full review video everything about those stuff so stay close because you will find out there um, all the information look how nice they are placed also the, 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 the house is up there on the mountains they are so beautiful man I it's for the first time when I'm in Portugal and I have to be grateful and thank you very much Honda Switzerland I will leave the link in the description uh, the Instagram they have Instagram TikTok I'm not sure if they have YouTube but um, definitely check them out they post a lot of content and also they post a lot of content from here from Portugal with this new CRV so yeah check them out nice we have auto hold function when you drive at low speed this car drive most of the time in electric mode and uh, the, they use the energy and the energy send to the battery or to the motors and then use the traction from the electric motors so the feeling when you're driving this CRV and in general the newest is Honda full hybrid they kind of use for traction the traction motor they call it it's like the electric motor right and then in certain circumstances the car can disengage and engage the petrol engine in order to 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 use the traction for the petrol motor but uh, this is only when you press the acceleration harder or over 80 80 km per hour at high speeds so they kind of improve those systems to make the car much more um, economical efficient and much more um, smooth and intelligent and the system i have to say i listened yesterday it's crazy interesting and not only that system but this car come with an all-wheel drive i intelligent system that means the car can choose when to drive in all-wheel drive and let me explain you a few things because many people don't know what really it's an all-wheel drive because not all all-wheel drives are the same and in this car before was like all-wheel drive was like maximum traction that you get you was like 60 in the front and 40 on the rear but now with this new version we have 50 50 so you have 50 traction it's able to to send half of the traction on the rear so for example in a slippery road snow and bad condition in order to be able to not leave the front wheel drive to spin they will send the power in the back and then you will have a gorgeous traction when you start from scratch uh, as I said I will try to show you that a little bit later if I have a place where to stop but the the great part is that the car will choose for you automatically when to send the power in the on the rear to in order to to gain some traction also in terms of traction and torque and low um, low engagement low gear then this is this is just um, so many technical data to to cover and I will try to give you all I will try to get also an interview maybe today if I have time later before I go to airport um, to the to the guys that build the car and the technology because they are also here so I can get maybe I can get them to explain us a little bit better uh, this system this will be really interesting now here I cannot stop because it's not a proper place but I hope you get some useful information from those videos if you are on the market for a full hybrid um, an SUV a big family SUV with a lot of um, space look at this when you need the power, even if we go uphill, 
it has more than enough 204 horsepower doesn't feel heavy at all the car feel light feel quite nice to drive to be honest look over those speed bumps the car suspensions are doing lovely and also it's so fun to drive I, I really enjoy driving it we go up we are all up on the mountain now in this moment we can look down there to the water um, this is a river I guess I'm not sure about that correct me if you are from here and you know more details it's a river that goes that comes from the Atlantic Ocean How it calls is like Douro River Douro, Douro, Douro River It's really nice and I see many people fishing here I guess it's a lot of fish Visibility wise, I told you guys, it's it's phenomenal. You have such a good visibility around the car, in the mirrors, on the windshield. Great position of the head-up display, great position. It, everything, it's so perfect array, the ergonomy in the car is just perfect. And this is, was one of the main points that they talked yesterday at Honda meeting. Um, and they explain how they improve all those stuff. And now I understand even more. Look how beautiful it is there, man. The houses, the river, a lot of trees and forest in Portugal, at least in this area. It's a really nice country. Look at it, it's beautiful. We have 7.3 liter consumption. You see, you saw how I drive until now. And yeah, here it's complicated because I don't have good visibility. In 400 meters, we will arrive at your destination. Yeah, the bad thing here is that I guess the people don't have a, a place. How is like like a walk? road it's just they have to walk on the street you know it's kind of the same as in uh, Saudi Europe there is kind of the same problem you have arrived. yes I should stop here for some pictures if I can go do that really fast on the other side but I, I'm not allowed to do that but it's so beautiful here man I just want to show you that put it in park let me show you a little bit outside ah by the way first of all consumption 7.2 liters consumption until now 17.7 kilometers you saw how I drive only in uh, electric mode and the next trip will be like 30 kilometers I will try to do the next trip the most economical trip until now but look at the view here it's beautiful man and I love those trees or I don't know how they call it write me in the comment you can see the boats and right over there you go to the ocean really cool beautiful and look at the car this is the beautiful car I love it man I start to love it the more I drive it the more I stay with the car the more I love it look at it the front of the car it's That was the second trip guys 
second trip second test drive here in portugal if you want to see the third one the third one will be interesting because it's about efficiency and about the consumption so if you want to see the third one stay close probably it's already there if it's not already there it will come next day so don't miss it out now look at the head-up display i don't know if you saw it before but head-up display is directly on the windshield it's perfectly positioned right there man i start to love the car more and more the glass roof i don't know if i show you the glass roof you can open it from here let me show you just like that just like that you can open the first part yeah and you can let some air to go inside and you can close also the other part just like that if you don't want the sun come inside you can make completely dark or you can stop it wherever you want to stop it super super nice super spacious in the back gorgeous seats leather seats incredible good quality armrest everything it's so easy it's so perfect position at here the buttons everything and even here armrest i told you it's a little bit more softer and it's so comfy soft material everywhere great job anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like share subscribe thank you very much honda switzerland for allow us to drive here and to test this crv uh, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like share subscribe thank you again guys for watching my videos don't miss out the full review with this car the test drive with this car the all test drives with this car and all the information that i try to gather and bring you because on my channel it's about information it's about to get informed it's about to take the best decision when you want to buy your next car so from here you can get a lot of information about cars in general all the new cars so thank you for watching stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys